Hey guys, so in this video we're going to take a look at the i7-8700K 2060 build that we did a while back. We originally tested it with GeForce Experience. So I'll bring up our cam overlay from NZXT. So just to go over the system a little bit, i7-8700K cooled by a NZXT Kraken X62 280mm AIO. RTX 2060 Founders Edition. Um, 16 gigs of 3200 megahertz Corsair uh, Vengeance Pro RGB and we're playing off a 970 Evo Plus um, and then I'll show you guys what kind of I'll show you guys what settings are running real quick um, settings wise we are sitting at 2560 by 1440, 144 FPS. So we're using the Dell SG27 um, monitor that I reviewed a little while ago. Um, so 100, 144 FPS, 1440p, one millisecond response time. And then in-game settings, epic view distance, medium, 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 low, medium. Um, so pretty much medium to low settings on everything but view distance. V-Sync off, immersion blow off, motion blur off, so there we go there. And then at the top left of the screen with the cam overlay, we get FPS, CPU utilization, which is 30% right now, 45 degrees, jumping up to 40 to 50%. GPU will sit between 85 and 100% at it's probably 70 degrees C. And then RAM utilization at 50%. So yeah, in game we should probably see consistent 144 FPS with the hardware that we have. So six core, 12 threads with the 8700K. RTX 2060 only six gigs of GDDR6 uh, VRAM, but that should be enough in game. It's plenty for 1440p. We will sit around 100% utilization, but it's still enough for us to see good performance. See if we can sneak up on this motherfucker. And that was nice and easy. <laughs> so in-game, plenty of performance. Hopefully it looks as good in the stream as it does here, but we are stepping down. So we're using hardware encoding to step down from 1440p, 144 that we're outputting to 1080p, 60 FPS for the stream.
quick. That was a terrible death, but <laughs> at least you guys got to see performance-wise. So 144 FPS, 25% utilization CPU, even while you know recording with the OBS. So OBS is only using probably one two percent of CPU. Once we actually stream on Twitch, which will be the next step, then we can actually see what true CPU utilization will be while streaming. But we're looking pretty good. CPU usage in game again only 30%. So yeah, it was pretty good. I hope the stream quality came out good on your side or the recording quality came out good on your side. Um, but leave any comments below in terms of hardware, software, whatever you guys are looking to do. Um, and throw the video a like if you guys liked it and I will see you in the next one.